Hi, good afternoon and happy weekend eve. Uh, this weekend's going to be a gorgeous one, hot and sunny across the southern interior. So I'm going to begin with your Saturday forecast for Kelowna or the Okanagan in general. It'll be 32 degrees tomorrow under sunny skies. We could use a little bit of moisture and your next chance of seeing that would be Sunday. It's a slight chance of an isolated shower and then Sunday evening could get a few showers. So that's good news. And in the meantime, you can enjoy your sunny hot weather uh, for the rest of us because we're seeing a little bit more active weather over here over the south coast. We'll be clouding up this afternoon. Slight chance of a shower. I'll show you why coming up. 22 is a high feeling like 27 with the humidity. So here we are this afternoon and see there's that little blip there. It is an extension of this front that's pushing further southeast from the north and the central coast. Now over there, they're certainly seeing showers as well as parts of Vancouver Island, but we could get clipped with that as well this afternoon. This is tomorrow morning, so still a few showers tomorrow morning and overnight leading up to tomorrow morning, but then we'll be clearing tomorrow. Then Sunday, again, a slight chance of isolated showers. So on radar returns, here's the, the current picture. We still do have a week upper level low circulating just outside or to the west of Haida Gwaii and that's what's producing all this activity over here. We'll have thunderstorms possibly bubbling up through the central interior as a result of that and also some showers up and down coastal sections. So here's how much we're looking at by tomorrow around this time about 15 millimeters of rain for Prince Rupert, not too much for Tofino at about 9 millimeters and models are giving us absolutely nothing across the southern interior. So Vancouver, even though I said there's a chance of isolated showers, we may not see anything at all and a lot of this moisture may remain at upper levels as Virga may not actually make it down to the surface level. Your temperature trend in the Okanagan will remain mostly hot. Sunday we get a little bit of a reprieve with that system that could be bringing us a few raindrops or so but for the most part it'll be a partly cloudy sky. On our afternoon or the evening hours rather I should say this is what the province should be looking like weather wise. So again some pockets of instability for the central and the northern interior. Here's how it translates in your long range, long range forecast. Today 22 degrees thunderstorms possible in the BC piece. White Horse also could get those storms. Mostly cloudy skies over here. North Coast we talked about the rain. Tomorrow we see an improvement. It's just a 40% chance of showers on our Saturday and this is the bullseye of the active weather. This is where we do see mostly cloudy skies, the chance of showers and the chance of thunderstorms. However, the Columbia and the Kootenai, it's hot, it's sunny and this this trend holds for some time. 29 in the Columbia, 34 in the Kootenai, 32 in the Thompson and the Okanagan today under partly cloudy skies and Whistler Village will be looking up to a Sun cloud mix, increasing cloudiness this afternoon. 20 for you in Victoria. It's going to be a nice weekend. Look at that, just a 30% chance of showers tomorrow. And there's a look at your long range for Metro Vancouver. Our showers develop overnight. We'll still see a little bit tomorrow morning, possibly then clearing out. All right, thank you, Kasha. Some breaking news now.